Hey fam, my name is Raif Darazi and today I'm going to be talking about a long extended release injectable drug for PrEP. For those of you who aren't familiar, PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. It is a drug that can be taken to prevent yourself from getting HIV transmission. So this is a great drug because not only does it prevent HIV transmission up to I think 96, about 96% 96 or more, um, but it also puts the onus back on the individual for you to safeguard and protect your own sexual health. Alongside things like condoms, PrEP is a really effective and incredible tool against HIV transmission. Disclaimer, real quick, I am not sponsored for this video. Uh, Vive Healthcare, who are the creators of the drug, did not sponsor me. They haven't paid me or given me anything in kind, so I just... This is something I'm very passionate about. So moving forward, I just want to continue providing you with as much information as I can that I think will be helpful for you. The name is Apritude. And the thing is with these retail medication names is they often sound really catchy and, and fun and <laughs> good vibes all around, which makes sense when you're trying to appeal to the mass market. You don't want your drug to sound weird or scary or hard to pronounce. So they often have these really catchy names like Apritude. The medication that I took before Bictarvi was Genvoya. And if you think about it, it's like combining the words generation and voyage. Gen Voya. I am the next generation of people living with HIV going on a voyage into the future of health and empowerment is, uh, <laughs> is kind of what it makes me think of. What they want you to think, right? So aptitude, that kind of reminds me of the word aptitude, kind of being intelligent, smart, having the wherewithal to safeguard and protect your health. Aptitude. I like it. The medical name is cabotegravir. Like, you can understand why they wouldn't want to market their drugs by their scientific names. That's hard to pronounce. It doesn't, it's not associated with anything. It just kind of, it might be a little alienating. So cabotegravir is the science name. And it, like I said, it's an extended release injectable drug for uh, acting as PrEP for HIV-1. And HIV-1 is the most common strain of HIV worldwide. So that is going to give protection to the most amount of people in the most amount of situations. Great news. Cabotegravir is not an entirely new drug. It is used in the other medication by the retail name Cabanuva, which was uh, recently approved by the FDA for long-acting injectable HIV treatment for people living with HIV. So we've got the long-acting for people living with HIV, and now we have the long-acting for people who want to protect themselves against HIV transmission. So Cabanuva, for people living with HIV, this one has the added scientific drug called Rilpivirine. And so it's the combination of those two drugs that really give a person the ability to combat HIV once they are diagnosed. Rilpivirine is not, is not needed for those of you who are HIV negative, so it's just the Cabotegravir. If you're interested in me doing a video on Cabanuva, if you let me know in the comments down below, that will give me incentive to hurry up and make the dang video. Uh, but, but either way, please leave your thoughts down in the comments below about Cabanuva. Do you know about it? Have you heard about it? Are you taking it now? What's your experience? Please share it with me. I'd love to hear about it. And I need the extra uh, push to make that video for y'all. So Apritude is injected into the muscle of the buttocks or the butt the booty, as it were, each month for the first two months. So the first month you're going to go in, get an injection, you're going to come back the next month, get an injection, and from then on, it's once every two months. That's really great. And some doctors may, in order to make sure that your body can tolerate it well, instead of giving you that for initial injection, we'll start out with Cabanuva in its pill form and have you take the pill every day for a month just to see how your body reacts. Do you tolerate it well? What are the side effects like? And once that is okay, once you go through it and everything looks good, then move on to the injectables. So that is something to talk about with your doctor and mention uh, if they don't mention it themselves. There is an easily findable website called apritude.com, which I'll be sure to put in the description box below for your convenience. And it has a lot of this information that I'm going through in this video here, as well as a really cute little round table discussion where they talk with a few people living with HIV and their experiences. 
leading into talking about this medication. So aside from having a new medication that's really effective and really great, and it's, you know, we're making advancements as we continue to do, for me, like the really hot button important aspect of this medication is that it really addresses a topic that is becoming more and more top of mind in relation to HIV sex and relationships and disclosure in particular. And I find that a lot of times the the concerns that are made about engaging in sexual activity with someone who is HIV positive is, how do I know you're taking your medication every day? Right, you could be undetectable. First of all, how do I know you're telling the truth? And second of all, how do I know that you aren't experiencing an HIV blip where suddenly you're not undetectable? And also, how do I know that you are in fact taking your medication every day like you say that you are? How do I know you didn't miss a dose? Blah, blah, blah. All those concerns, whether they're founded or not, because as I've done in a, in a previous video, and I'll link to a card here on HIV blips, um, those aren't really much of a concern at all. But regardless, a lot of times those types of concerns can create for sticky situations or can, can contribute to stigma and um, just negative situations all around. So what this does, if someone who is HIV negative can hop on something like Apertude, especially knowing that it's a long acting injectable, I mean, even if you're an HIV negative person and you wanna take PrEP, you have to do that. You have you got to remember to take your pill every single day. There can be situations where it's hard to remember to be adherent to your uh, regimen of taking it every single day. And some people don't want to do that every single day. It's like they might be interested in prep as an idea and that they can protect themselves in that way. But maybe they just are like, gosh, I really don't want to have to remember to do that every day. And then if you forget, like maybe three days ago, I forgot. Oh, does that mean I'm not protected today? I don't know. There could be all these like questions and stuff lingering still. So all those things contribute to a very complicated interaction with those of us who are living with HIV. And the more we can simplify sexual health and those conversations and not have to make it about trust, but really about just taking an active role in our own sexual health, the better the overall understanding of HIV community, of, of sexual health, and of and reducing stigma is going to be and how, how much quicker that's going to advance and grow. Anyway, let me get off my soapbox. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> so for those people who are HIV negative, being able to take Apertude and not have to think about it, but once every two months, that's great. And then not have to be worried about, am I protected? Am I not? Like that can be such a psychological relief for people who are HIV negative, and it takes the burden off of the person living with HIV when you are having that conversation around sex. All right, so that's Apertude. I hope you found this video informative. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell so that you get a notification every time a new video of mine gets posted. Don't forget, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a video on Cabinuva or any other topic too. I'm always looking at what you guys want to see next. And I have a lot of great content coming for you soon. Cheers.